Let's imagine that you are trying to download an app from the an iTunes Store or App Store and it keeps showing a message on your phone that your account has been disabled in the App Store and iTunes. As a result, you can't sign in with your Apple ID and download content from App Store and iTunes Store simultaneously that you actually need. Well, don't fret, as in this review we're gonna share with you some helpful hints which will allow you to fix this issue. Let's get started! There can be various reasons why you're going through this annoying error and below we have mentioned all possible causes. Firstly, you have entered your Apple ID password incorrectly too many times in a sequence. Secondly, your Apple ID hasn't been used for a long period of time. Thirdly, billing issues such as an unpaid App Store or iTunes order. Fourthly, Apple thinks your Apple ID was hacked by someone else. And last but not least, an Apple charges dispute your credit card. For the first tip, you will need to use only the default options provided by Apple services on your iPhone. Simply go to Settings, then find and choose Apple ID menu, and then proceed with Password and Security section. Then tap on Change Password option and enter your passcode to confirm your selection. Now enter your new Apple ID password and re-enter it again to verify your account. The second method will be quite useful for users who actually don't remember their old passwords, hence they can check out this tip. All that you're gonna do, just go to official Apple website iforgot.apple.com in order to restore access to your Apple ID account. In the provided fields, enter your Apple ID account, email or phone number and click continue. Then you will receive a notification on your phone to reset your Apple ID. Next tap on allow button. The next step is to enter your lock screen passcode and proceed to set the new Apple ID and password page. The third tip seems to us is the most basic and simplest ones, but at the same time could be still rather useful. Sometimes you can fix the App Store problem by re-lock into your Apple ID account. Here are the detailed steps how to do that. Just open settings, tap on your name as it is displayed above, then find and tap on sign out of the Apple ID account at the bottom of this page. Next, enter the password of your Apple ID to log out. Then re-enter the settings interface and log in into your Apple ID account. When you have re-signed in your Apple ID account, try once again to see if you can download apps now. For the first method, make sure that the date and time on your device are set correctly for your time zone. To check this, simply go to Settings, find General and tap on Date and Time menu and turn on Set Automatically option. The last tip seems to us much more effective, user-friendly and less time-consuming. All that you're gonna do to reset your Apple ID password is to run any unlock utility on your PC or Mac computer. Then connect your iPhone to it via USB or USB-C cable. In the pop-up dialog window, select Unlock Apple ID feature. Next, click on Unlock Now button and wait patiently till the process will be completed. Afterwards, when the process is done, your iPhone will restart automatically and you can set up your device and complete some of the setup steps. And here you go! Just as so simple as that. Hope that all the tips were kinda useful. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel, like this review and share it with your friends on the social nets. Thanks for watching and see you soon! Peace!